So what's going on guys? It is your boy Mark the Unexpected. I'm about to bring you guys another unexpected banger. You already know. Y'all know for today's video, if you guys didn't get a chance to watch part one of why I am lonely as fuck. Fucking hell boys, check that out because I went in deep. Huh? Now for today's video, it is all about part two as to why I'm lonely as fuck. We are now going into college boys. Once I graduated high school, like I didn't hang out with any friends or anything because I mean, I didn't have any friends. I, I guess you could say like acquaintances. You know, they're just there, you talk to them, whatever, and then boom, you're, you know, you go your separate ways. Literally like in the summer before college, I, I didn't really do anything, Not nothing special. Fast forward into August, usually like when you go off to college, you can't wait to leave and you just want to go into your dorms and- You know, stay the hell away from your parents, you know? You got the total freedom. Fucking hell, I didn't do that. I didn't really experience that college life, that, like that college dorm life. When it was time for everyone to go off to their dorms and this and that, I was at home. I mean, fucking out. looking back at that, I do regret not staying in the college and experiencing that dorm life. It, it was a missed opportunity for sure. Again, I just tried to blend in with my surroundings. I mean, freshman year, I did see a couple people that I recognized from high school and I did talk to them, but that was really just, just in the first semester. And going into college, you know, some people are undecided and others, they already have you know everything's like set in stone i want to be an engineer i want to do this going into college i did go in as a civil engineer i'm just gonna t say it straight up that was just for the first semester what i mean fucking hell ever since i was a kid i wanted to be an engineer i just didn't feel it i didn't have that feeling of like that passion none of, none of that none of that and so like the first semester again i just try to blend in with my surroundings just like i did in high school like every time hey does anyone know this answer Please don't pick me. And you guys can't say that you guys never done that before because fucking hell, we've all done that before. Does anyone know this answer? I will pick someone randomly and you're like, and that's how I was in high school and going into college. Once the next semester came after winter break, I switched majors. It was a dramatic switch. I went from civil engineering to trying to be a meteorologist. I prefer really not to, um, not to speak. That lasted about two semesters. That one, I mean, I was more interactive, asking questions to the professor and this and this and that, but I didn't make like any- What? Like set in stone friends. You know? Heading into the spring of 2021. Bruh. Can you like move or? Anyways. But yeah, uh, going into the spring of 2021, I just didn't feel being a meteorologist was for me. Well, guess what? I, I ended up switching again. And this time I switched to business. Dramatic changes. I went from civil engineering to meteorologist to business. You're stupid. That lasted about two years. But fucking out, like the four years, literally like the four years that I had that so-called, you know, college experience, it, it just wasn't for me. Well, I didn't try to make any friends, but... Blending in with my surroundings, attend my classes. After like the second year that I was there, there was times where where I just didn't even go. Just around like when, when like the pandemic hit, that's when I started like not even wanting to step foot on the college campus. And I just started taking like full on online classes. At one point I was taking five classes and all of them were online. I, I'm always like, like saying to myself, was it just me like being lonely as fuck or college life and you know, just like the college experience just isn't for me. I wouldn't even call it like a college experience because fucking hell, I didn't, I didn't sleep at the college. Didn't attend any parties. I didn't attend freshman week. I don't know if they had sophomore and junior and like senior week i don't know if they had that even if they did i didn't attend it same thing as high school like the the football games and stuff i didn't attend that the dances none of that i didn't attend anything i i literally was just like living in the past sort of speak like with the high school experience it just continued on to college and it, it just wasn't for me i went to college for four years and usually like in when you attend college for four years you know you graduate right i wasn't even close huh into the fourth year i was only like halfway done so I still had another two, maybe even three years to go fucking out. I mean, April 2020, that was when I, I started my first YouTube channel, which that doesn't exist anymore. That's when I just stopped going to college and I just like lost interest in it. College life isn't for everyone. Some people love it, some people don't. I just didn't feel that it was for me. Going to a place where you're not happy, cause I wasn't happy. I didn't want to interact with anyone and just being like miserable like all the time, doing like exams and stuff, like not wanting to study and doing all that. It wasn't good for me. It wasn't good for like my mental health because mental health is very important it was just better like for like both parties like college and me go our separate ways just get my my spot up for someone else i'm not 
planning on going back to college. The experience there, honestly, it was awful. I I'm already like lonely as fuck. To be in a place where I'm not happy, it just makes me even more lonely as fuck. It's it sucked. It literally sucked. The only thing that I could say is, looking back, do I regret going? In a sense, no. I had that little experience of just going to a college. In another way, I do regret it. Being in debt like 20 plus thousand. Huh? It doesn't have any benefits to that because I didn't graduate. I switched majors three times. I would definitely say that the biggest plus to going, it helped me discover the true passion and the thing that, that truly makes me happy. And that is doing YouTube, making videos. If you guys enjoy my content and you guys enjoy seeing a guy, you know, just pick up a camera and just reiterate over and over and over again how lonely as fuck he is, you know, smash that like button and just subscribe. At the end of the day, I'm doing this for you guys. From when I was born, you know, K through 12, lonely as fuck situations that I went through through all those years and being bullied like in middle school and all that it, it truly sucks and then all these experiences in a sense it has truly been a blessing it has led me to something that i really do feel happy doing i love picking up the camera i i love creating content for you guys even if it's not my best content i mean don't get me wrong i mean i'm still lonely as fuck i know that it, it'll get better I, I know that soon being lonely as fuck it'll be over i'm trying every every single video you know, to put myself out there to get noticed to be able to like collab and meet you you know other influencers and youtubers and just create some videos together that is what i'm trying to do and i know that it, it takes time hopefully soon i'll have my big breakthrough and i'll meet you know an influencer or youtuber and we can just like work together and like take off you know it's all a process i gotta continue doing what i gotta do create my content at the end of the day i'm still lonely as fuck you know, literally like dragging my feet into the car and I don't even know if I should say this, paying like on those websites like uh, Chag or, or whatever that's called to get like answers like for homework assignments. I got two referrals because I, I plagiarized paper like for English class and for history class. And I guess it was just like, like signs like from God that, you know, college life just isn't for me. And it was, and it was just trying to like get me away from it and push me away into being a YouTuber. I, I can't wait to continue this for many, many years to come. And part two wasn't as, wasn't as exciting as part one. But again, if you guys haven't checked out part one of, of why I'm lonely as fuck, I literally went in deep in part one as to why I'm lonely as fuck. Bro, what are you talking about, man? This is just gonna close out part two. If you guys enjoyed, just like smash that like button and comment down below. If you guys enjoy like these types of series, again, I'm doing this for you guys. So anything that you guys wanna see or anything that you guys don't wanna see, you know, fucking out. Let me know in the comment section down below. Other than that, guys, it has been your boy, Mark, the Unexpected. Always expect the Unexpected. Ugh. Oh, fuck, I know that was high. All right, so just stay tuned for part three, which will be the finale of this series of why I'm lonely as fuck. Fucking hell, it's gonna be after college life. I'm just gonna go back in deep, boys.